Hey guys, what's up? This is Casual Rage Gamer KC, and today we're gonna do a rant. Oh shit. Now, here's the thing I don't really watch the news at all or listen to the news, but I was on my way to the office and I heard this thing on the radio about the internet services, the complaints regarding it, and well, it kind of fucked up, seriously. And here's the thing. Everyone knows, I mean, I haven't really kept it a secret, I'm here in the Philippines, and wow, just wow. The things you hear when you listen to the news, this is why I don't listen to the news. Now, here's the thing, the whole internet speed bullshit that has gone to the media nowadays, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad that it did go to the media, more people get to hear about it, but... The complainers, the people who goes to the media and the people they interview, uh, the people basically that are being heard complaining about these things are obviously paid off by the companies themselves to complain. Now hear me out. Why do I think this way? Now I know it sounds a little bit harsh but the complaints that they have are really bullshit. Now here's the thing. I already know that the speed here in the Philippines, not that good. I mean, out of the entirety of the world, we have, what, uh, two places that have worse speeds than we do. But that's not really as bad as people think. I mean, the complaints that are on the radio right now are really regarding the speed of the internet. Uh, the LTE service, to be precise, being advertised at 42 Mbps. And people are complaining they're only getting around 4 or 10 Mbps somewhere around that point but I mean come on before we even complain regarding this I mean regarding the whole speed bullshit don't you think maybe we should worry more about the caps we're paying for unlimited internet that is not unlimited so if you're gonna complain about the speed fuck you cry me a river build a fucking bridge and get the fuck over it there's nothing really wrong with the speed that cannot be improved by first fixing that stupid cap. Because the thing is, with that cap, it doesn't matter how fast your internet is, it still won't matter because you cannot download anything with that fucking cap if you're already paying for unlimited internet. Oh shit. I know, I know it's not as fast as other countries. But don't you think before we tackle that, maybe, just maybe, we should tackle the fact that your unlimited data service is capped. Let's go with the definitions first. Here's the thing. Quick Google search. Right now. Unlimited. An adjective? What it means? Not limited or restricted in terms of numbers, quantity, or extent. Now, let's go with Webster's Dictionary. Unlimited without any limits or restrictions, not limited in number or amount, lacking any control, boundless, infinite, not bounded by exceptions. These are all definitions of the word unlimited. Now, data caps say that we are not supposed to use more than a certain number of gigabytes per day and in some cases even per month. Otherwise, you get throttled. Now, the speeds that you get throttled to are bullshit to begin with. But let's go with the definition again of unlimited. Not limited. It means the data cap is bullshit to begin with. But then the excuse that they make, the excuse that they make is they're saying they're not limiting you. They're just making your speed slower. You're still getting unlimited data service. That is fucking bullshit that is called a restriction second part of the definition is not limited or not restricted saying you have to stay within the cap or we will throttle you is a restriction that's not unlimited at all to top it all off they lie to our faces now here's the thing a lot of people will believe it. I mean, really, seriously, a lot of people will believe it because 
they do not really know how technology works. They lie to our faces about how the internet works. They lie to our faces about how data works. They're saying something that is not even true. They're saying that bandwidth is a limit, limited resource. It's not at all. Spectrum is. There's a difference between the two. Now, here's actually how it really works. When you have data and you're using a lot of it, if you're alone, yes, you're getting the entire speed. That's fine. If, let's say, you have a one gigabyte limit of speed for the entirety of, let's say, 10 people, you have one gigabyte, you're getting the entire one gigabyte. But if people who don't use it as much starts using it, if there's two people, each one will get 0.5 gigabytes. If, let's say, four people will use it, each one will get 0.25. It doesn't matter how much you're using it. What matters is that people are using it and it gets divided equally. Equally. Not because you're using more means that people will actually start to lose their internet connection because you're using more. That doesn't make sense. The speed will get slower. Yes, it is already slow anyway. Yes, but we have that capacity basically though as of right now what they're really lacking is infrastructures spectrums because the only way that you can increase bandwidth so that it doesn't slow down is going to be by increasing the spectrum you can only increase the spectrum by adding more infrastructures doing a data cap will not actually increase the speed itself at all the speed will remain constant it will still be divided amongst people that's the thing but they don't want to make infrastructures because why it has a cost they don't want to add to add more at all so what they'll do is punish people who are using it so that they're gonna start capping people it doesn't matter if you're a data hog or a regular user they're gonna cap you so that your speed gets throttled once it's actually slower guess what the facilities don't get used anymore since it's not getting used anymore they can get more people more people means more people sharing the exact same speed now since more people are getting the exact same speed guess what they'll need to lower it down even more lower it down more 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 so that they don't need to add more infrastructures or if they do add more it can be as minimal as possible but get so much more people in there basically it's the same thing as a canal with water going through they're telling us to get the water through there but we, even though they're asking they're doing that they're saying nope too much water is coming in so instead of adding more pipes through the canal so that more water can go through they add more water and then they complain saying that there's too much water and there's flooding that's not the fault of the water that is the fault of the people not putting in more pipes same thing with the internet it's the pretty fucking same thing I got no idea how they think they're getting away with this well of course they will it's a big company it's globe it's smart it's pretty much every company in the entire world every company in the entire world that provides internet or data they're all doing the exact same thing and they think that because they're everyone is doing it it's okay no everyone doing it doesn't make it okay if people stop starts jumping off the platform and into a train tracks that doesn't make it okay either same thing with this people doing it other people doing it it's not an excuse and you know what what's worse the reason why this is happening two things because they have their hands in the government's pants and at the same time since the government is protecting them there's also less competition no competitions at all what do we have here 
I don't know about other countries, so I'm not even going to talk about that, but let's just go here with the Philippines. We have Globe, we got Smart, we got Sun, we got PLDT, we have Sky, we have Buy and Tell. I'm just going by Metro Manila because that's the one with the most choices, quote unquote choices, I mean, out of all of them. But let's investigate this a little bit. Okay, Sky, it's its own entity, that's fine. Nothing, nothing to worry about there. Globe, yep, that's fine. It's its own entity, so that's fine. PLDT, that's even a part of the government or something. I got no idea, but it's its own entity, basically. So, wow, we have three choices now. Let's see about the other three that we have. Smart. Hmm. That's owned by PLDT, so that's not really a choice. It's just going with another brand, but it's the same thing. Huh. Let's see. Buy and tell. Oh, wait. Buy and tell is now being purchased by Globe. So it's now a part of Globe. Gah. So that's not a choice whatsoever. Which brings us to the last one. I even forgot exactly what was the last one. Um, let's see. Sun. Yep, Sun. The crappiest of all. They only have 4G. No. They have mobile internet. I'm not sure if it's 4G or not. We had experiences about it. Gets disconnected pretty much every damn time. Not the point though. Because to be perfectly honest. Sun. Whether they want to advertise it or not. Is actually affiliated with PLDT as well. So not real choice. So guess what. We have Sky. We have Globe. We have Smart. No sorry. We have Sky. We have Globe. And we have PLDT. Those are the three choices that we have. Nothing else. And this lack of competition. PLDT even being owned by the... Well, mostly owned by the, by the government. Sky, which has terrible service from what I've been able to see. Friends and people around my area pretty much are all complaining about it. And when I went online, apparently it's not an isolated case. And Globe, well... Globe is already in the process of, quote-unquote, working with the NTC to fix their fair use policy oh by the way fair use policy is not fair i mean it's not even fair the entire premise behind it doesn't even make sense at all but whatever whatever let's see mm, crap i'm getting too riled up now i really should stop before i start busting some something breaking stuff you know what let's quit it for here for now I'm seriously hoping this changes I'm really waiting I mean even the things that they're talking about on the NTC side of it are doesn't really even make sense all they're saying is you have a one week limit to talk to us uh huh to talk to you and then what? By the way, that one year, one week limit ended about February 14. Well, six or February 13. Sorry. So now they're quote unquote talking about talking to them, and hmm, I sincerely detect a complete lack of anything happening at all. I've actually been looking through even online to see if there's any news whatsoever about what's going on. Basically, the agreement so far, anyway, that I have seen is that they agree that it's okay to throttle people. Yep, that's to be expected. Like I said, they have their hands in the government's pockets. So, not really surprised there. And the worst part is, they're getting away with it. They're pretty much getting away with it. There's really no two ways to go about it. They just are getting away with it. I don't know how to fix it. I really have no idea because the way in order to fix it is basically for people to make sure they're heard. But in order to have that happen, 
which, by the way, the people are already complaining about it, and people are getting heard about it. But the problem is, in order to have any implementations on it, the government will need to actually do something. Problem is, government is not doing anything, so... yeah. Shit. I don't know how to solve it, because the people that are supposed to be solving it are not doing anything. At all. Yeah, I'm gonna need to calm down. Let's just... Let's just be done with it for now. For now, though... Um, like, favorite, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, subscribe to my channel, and I'll guess I'll catch you around on the next video. I still have no idea what we're going to be playing next, but, well, I'm sure it'll be exciting. Oh yeah, and, yo, before I, we do end this, sorry, it just keeps on ending, I kind of updated the... Uh, channel's uh, description just so people know why it's kind of crappy because everything here is a first time run through let's play we have we do this whole rant vlog from time to time and first time run through of whatever game it is that i just felt like doing at the moment uh now the reason i'm doing it first time run throughs is because i just well i just want to be able to experience things for the first time with people First time players probably will be able to see, oh, so this is going to be the experience when you're playing through this entire game. And I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure if all games that we're going to be running through will be finished. I mean, we did finish, well, I have already finished Season 2 of The Walking Dead, but the videos are going to be coming up. But it's still only Season 2, Episode 1, the others haven't come up yet. But what I'm talking about is the other stuff. Uh, I'm thinking of what's gonna be what's gonna be the next thing that we play. If I can finish it, good. But well, I'm gonna definitely always try to keep on finishing it. But if I encounter something and I have like 50, 70, 80, 90, 100 tries before I even get to it, or I haven't even finished it by then, because that's gonna be a lot of cuts. I'm just gonna have like something on the very end that tells you that it's not gonna end well or i'm just gonna frustrate myself even more and throw my monitor whichever works well for now though see ya